What's good, YouTube? Welcome to episode four of Automating an Empire. In the last episode, we basically went on quite a few shenanigans and figured out how we might be able to get us a shield very soon. While I was working on fixing some stuff up, okay, there he is. While I was working on trying to get some stuff ready to do exactly that, I had an assertive observer pop up and start annoying me. So we're gonna take him out at the beginning here. Okay, so that one's down. Good night, sir. And we need to go about taking this observer down. So let me swing in here, see if it looks like all straight area. So we're not gonna be able to hide our way through here. Awesome, all ours. So I'm gonna repair the power and see what's up with this stuff. Uh, we don't have everything we need. We need girders. I think there's some in this. Yes. All right. I like this place. It took down that rival pretty quick like, didn't it? All right, so we got us a super gremlin up here too. So I'm going to go work on it real quick. We may be able to take it over. I've taken one of these over before, so I have an idea where everything's at. I'm trying to remember where the remote control was. I'm pretty sure I still remember it. If we can get a good uh, line on this thing. Awesome, it's ours. Hold on, I wanna see what this is. There's two of them. Okay, and turn off the autopilot, boom. That's three ships in this first few minutes of the episode. That is amazing. All right, so we now have three ships. Let's go on and park this one onto this one. Hopefully that tree disappears soon. Yeah, we didn't really lose too much. Everything that's good still there. We're good. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to add a building repair for out here. All right, so I need to pick a color. So let's go ahead and pick this color. And what we do here is we go down to use grind color and pick current build color. And then all I have to do is control shift middle click. And this should take that entire thing apart and control shift middle click. Let me make sure that this is set up for maximum size. Okay, that is. And we are going to go to uh, fly mode instead of walk mode and turn the block on and we should be good. There we go, taking it all apart. Actually, I need to move them in a little bit closer. Oh well. This is how we'll do this. Alrighty, there we go. Everything's within the distance. So it should pick both of these ships apart before it's over with. We'll just leave them out here for now. That gives us so many materials. And I'm probably going to need a lot more storage as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, this thing's got silver cargo. Let's go on uranium and cargo. All right, we're taking this. This is military. It's not going to like us taking it over, but it's worth it. I'm not worried about keeping anything on this ship because we're just going to take it apart. Just like we're doing to the others. And we'll start building our next... Uh, ship our spaceship very soon but what I plan on doing is actually working on the base a little bit get it built up to where I can uh, do what I want to do the main thing I want to do right now is open up an area here where I can actually take things apart and put them together and stuff like that this is gonna be like a I wouldn't say a hangar bay but sort of like one uh, basically the idea for this area is 
it's going to be a landing pad for us to land stuff on that we need to take apart and maybe build some large grid ships for the time being. I want to make a ship that'll make it to space with no problems uh, off of nothing but battery power. I want to skip completely over the, since we've got enough for the thrusters and stuff, I want to skip completely over, what do you call that, the hydrogen phase and just go straight with thrusters. And also I need to make sure that the ship has a shield as well. So we may need to capture a few more before we're capable of doing that, but that shouldn't be an issue. I just basically want to get to where I can actually go into space and create a mining colony for platinum. Because that's the number one, platinum and uranium, those are the number one and two things that we need right now. As it is, so that's what I want to basically start on today is getting the platform area built up and the rest of the stuff. As you see, I'm building a bunch of these guys here. That way they can take things apart and put them together really quickly. If we want to take something apart, all we have to do is land it down here and go straight into uh, coloring it. And it should be pretty quick to take it apart. That way I don't have to do time lapses each time that I want to take a ship apart like we did for the last two. All right, and I I think this should be it. This one last one here. There we go. Now I can actually lay out the flooring here. Now I want to take these guys and go ahead and set them up to work as well. So let's go for all build and repair systems. We'll make them all part of one group. Uh, let's see, what was that? Build and repair group one. All right, so I'll take this and then I'll add all of these and save. Okay, so they're all saved as one now. So we're gonna go fly mode for everything. And we're going to go to no ignore color. Uh, we are going to go to yes, use grind color. We are going to make sure that it's set up for the full size. There we go. And one last thing I need to do here is Make sure they're all turned on and make sure they're all on fly mode. Ow, that's loud. I need to cut that down real quick. There we go. And we're going to control by script. That may still work. <laughs> nice. Showing the area here. There's so many of them that it gets completely black. So I need to cut off show the area on that. And I think control by script just stopped them all from working. So let's go on and uh, fix that. Yeah, so controlled by script is not good for it. And we're going to also tell it not to show the build area. There we go. Yeah, you see how much faster this is now. It'll basically just take hold as quickly as we place or whatever. Yeah, you see how fast it's building. That's what I was looking for. Because it'll take it apart just as fast as it's building that. So I'm going to lay the rest of these and I'll get up with you when I'm done. And that's all done. So now it's time to actually get this guy to land over here. So let's go do that. Okay, I think we're apart. Yeah, we are. So we'll cut this off, hop out, and go ahead and paint the entire thing green for the deconstruct color. This is the main thing that I want to get right here because it's got 465 platinum and a bunch of silver and a bunch of gold in it too. So that's going to be really, really nice to pick up. And it's got 492 uranium, and that's not even counting the uranium that's already in the uh, reactors in this thing. Let's see. Okay, that's all the uranium, but 492 uranium is a lot. <laughs> the sparrow thought he was going to do something. He took out a tree. <laughs> okay, let's make sure these guys are working like they're supposed to. No, they're not. 
Uh, let's see. I need to go to build and repair group one. And I need to use grind color and pick crank. But before I go any further, I actually want to get some uh, defenses up for the base here. So I just got to figure out which one of these I want to use real quick. I'm guessing heavy laser gimbal. All right, here we go. And yeah, that looks about the right size there. So let's go ahead and add on to the base real quick. We will be moving all of this around. It's just, I don't like this guy sitting around here or riding around here. These orcs, because they're pretty heavily fortified. Okay, it looks like it's probably a manual load. Or do you even have to load this? Doesn't look like it. Let's see, what's the radius? We can change the radius, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely worthwhile here. Looks like about 3K or so. Yep, 3K. Now let me see if I need to add anything for ammo for that. Nope. Good night, Sparrow. I feel a little bit safer now. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing over here and make it the color that we want it to get rid of it. Actually, this I don't think this is gonna be long enough. Let me also, before I do anything, go ahead and extend this. That may be far enough, but we're gonna have to do more of these guys. So let's go ahead and run these across and put another conveyor junction here and we can run the same number back the other way. So let me find them. I think that was a, yeah, number six. There we go. Is that too far? I think that's slightly too far. Darn it. Okay, I think this is good. Let me see. Yes. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I need to do control one and six. So once again, we will set these up. There we go. Is that going to be long enough? I'm just going to go the exact distance that this can go. That's probably the smart move. That looks to be the exact distance we can go. And last one there. All right, so now I just need to fill out the flooring here. This is the uh, boring part. Well, I actually ran out of steel plates, believe it or not. So I guess it's time to go ahead and start taking this thing apart to help out with that. All right, so I'm gonna come land this thing down here. I need to make sure that it's as far along here as possible. We can move it forward a bit too because it's still within range. All right, there we go. Now let's just paint this thing with the green color that we need. Let's see, do we have any more steel blocks? We might have made some by now. I want to run at least enough here to where that can catch when it falls, because it will fall. We'll finish those up later after we've taken this thing apart. So now all I need to do is paint this thing. Boom. Okay, yeah, it, it's it's setting that up. It's just gonna finish building before it welds, weld before grind, gotcha. Okay, so it's taking the ship apart now. We'll call this the bone yard. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so now that that's being done, it's super laggy, so I'm going to have to come in here. Let's make sure what's up with this. See if I can change this around any. Uh, it is still digging. Interesting. Looks like we're due for a rebuild in here very, very shortly, so that's probably what we'll work on. I'll let this finish up, all this mess, uh, just chill with it for a little while, and then I'll pick up from here and or there. And we'll start doing a rebuild here. That's probably our best bet. Because we've got all this rock that we're going to get rid of here. That's going to be our entrance into the mountain. We're going to have the boneyard right out here. And then we're probably going to make 
storage area down here and up here we're probably going to make into a hangar bay where we can build if we want to and repair thank you for watching the video all the way through how about dropping a like to let me know that you did and if you're new here and haven't already how about thinking about subscribing and helping us reach our goal of 1000 subscribers in the next video we're going to be working on getting shields up for the base if you like what you saw and want to see more click one of the two videos on your screen now thank you have a nice day